Hi, this is Robert Smith. I'm in Domina Cashel, which is an, an ancient fort uh, from many, many, many years ago here in Ireland. And I'm answering questions. So Ryan asked the question. Hi, Robert. When I tap something huge away, sometimes followed with anxiety. Is it because I feel lost without the old program or is it something else? Uh, what have you found in your clients? Do they tend to feel anxious after getting rid of something big? And what is a good thing to say after the big thing, you tap it away? So that's a very good question because most people really don't understand how the mind works. Let's say for example, you have, um, you have a fear of cameras, for example. All right, so you got somebody coming in and they have a fear of ca cameras. So why would you be anxious once you got rid of the problem? Well, there's, there's several reasons why. Here we go. So there's several reasons why. One of the reasons is, is because when you address a big issue, the issue that you're addressing could be merely a metaphoric expression of something else, which basically Say you have a fear of cameras and you tap away the fear of cameras, all of a sudden you feel anxious. One reason why you may have the fear of cameras is because of the fact you had a camera experience somewhere before. Maybe you don't even remember it. Then all of a sudden you tap away the camera experience and then as you do that, right. so what's, what, what could happen is, is here it is, you, you tap away the camera experience, the fear of it, then all of a sudden your mind says, but we have other resources. We have other things that you hadn't resolved yet. So then you may need to address those too. So there could be other resources that are unresolved. So what you want to do is, you know, you first of all, you address the issue. What usually what most people do now, if you're coming from a model of thinking or not even from training, like I come from EFT, EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, and of course, the typical training for EFT is one or two days course. And they're just going to basically show you how to tap. Um, they don't teach you really how the mind works because you can't get that in a day or two. Um, what I have discovered over the years of practicing EFT and solving the problems I found with EFT, I created Faster T and now created the training Utaptics, which is a professional system that tr trains people to really know how to go in and do the big stuff and also how to get the strategies. So what is the problem? First of all, when you address a memory or a symptom, it could be it's like the fear of cameras, you tap it away, all of a sudden there's anxiousness. There's several reasons why there's anxiousness. First of all, you've had this problem and you built your life around it. So your problem has been built around this thing and you have all these other memories that still attached. And so now the cart of your unconscious mind says there's a hole missing. And so what usually happens if it's a thorough session, now when I say thorough session, we're not just tapping away the camera, but with a trained practitioner of your tactics is what we will do is we'll get you get a structure that supports the problem. And when you completely change the structure as well as the camera issue, there usually is what you call harmony, a, a positive thing. Now, let's say for example, you have 5,000 camera bad experiences and you address one. Well, you address one, you clean that one up, what's happening? You've got 4,999 left. That means there's going to be a disruption. The memory goes, the mind goes, hey, I got another one for you. And then you have to clean that one up. So there's so several things that are happening inside the unconscious. And one, like I said before, you may have a specific memory that's unresolved that you didn't know was there and you need to change that. Or two, that there's a lot more stacked along with it or three, is that your brain now has to go and reorganize your internal structure and create harmony. It's not uncommon when you do a session, if it's not a complete session or a thorough session, uh, there will be disruption, or they call it an ab reaction. You could get sick, you could get anxious, you get angry, you could be happy, you could be excited, it could be positive or negative. And so what you have to do is make sure you're completely thorough with what you're working on. And that's why I created what you call the art of change process, which is a, a listening strategy that builds structure in how you successfully created this problem with a camera 
or any other issue. So that's why sometimes you'll work on yourself and you feel anxious. You're actually probably knocked the surface off or you're, you're upsetting the unconscious cart which all the stuff that you have stacked that needs to be organized or you didn't really get the real problem. So there's many areas about this. So the most important thing for, for you is to, to be thorough, complete, get good training, know what you're doing, know how you do it. You cannot learn how to do this in a single two day seminar training. You need, you need a lot more understanding about how your mind. Now, what, well, what your tactics is, is a complete system that helps give a thorough, complete change and understanding and how to make deeper changes. And also, it knows how to go to the big stuff too. And we have many processes that that will not only change one memory, but you can tell the unconscious to change them all, and, and hopefully it'll do exactly as we instruct. So, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in Newcastle County Down, and I just went through a, what is this thing I went through again? Fort or a casual? Well, it's like casual. It's a little fort, casual, and this was actually built to protect themselves from, I believe, the, the people coming from Norway to conquer them and to, so they built this to keep themselves safe. Also used to be a farm, they used to have their cattle and stuff. And so anyway, this is Robert Smith here in Newcastle. Peace, peace out. Let the love flow.